All righty, everybody. Well, good afternoon. My name is Brandon, uh, and I'm with the New Mexico College Access Council, and I'm the chair of that organization. We're excited uh, for you to be joining us today for our college fair uh, and partaking in this college uh, presentation panel that's going to involve six of our institutions. Uh, today, uh, from one to two, we have Central New Mexico Community College, New Mexico State University, New Mexico Highlands University, New Mexico Junior College, Doña Ana Community College, and Eastern New Mexico University. Uh, so those are our uh, presenters uh, for this hour. How it is going to work is each institution will have six minutes uh, about their institution. Uh, we will go through those six institutions, and then at the end, we will open it up for any Q&A or any questions uh, that you have for any of our participants. Um, so with that, uh, I am going to go ahead and get started with our first institution, Central New Mexico Community College. Take it away. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to share my screen. And we can see this okay, Brandon? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So we're going to make this quick. I'm going to get right to the point. Again, my name is Alexis Argumetto, and let's go ahead and get started and learn a little bit more about CNM. Okay, a little bit about CNM. We are the largest community college in New Mexico, serving over 22,000 students. We have six academic schools that we offer here, and within these academic schools, we have over 100 associate degrees and certificates that we offer. We have nine locations across Albuquerque and Rio Rancho. Soul to Suncat is our mascot. And one of the really nice things about CNM is that our average class size is only about 20 students. So this is an awesome opportunity for you to um, connect with your instructor as well as the other people in your class. Upon graduation, we had 95% of our students find jobs in their chosen field. So success is a guaranteed outcome. And another great thing about CNM is that you can start here with and start your associate degree or certificate and move on to pursue your education at other colleges or universities. We also have a fully CNM online college program, which is basically an accelerated program and it's fully online and that is something that's fairly new. So the first thing that typically comes across your mind is how much does it cost? So our costs, the rates that we have shown here are our rates for um, being a New Mexico resident. So our rates are $56 per credit hour. Typically our classes are three credit hours. Um, and most of our students probably take a full-time load, which is 12 to 18 credit hours. So on average, you're looking at about 672 for the cost. And this is the cost before any fees apply. So I just wanted to point that out. And then of course, we do have options as far as paying for college, right? So you can get on the Bridge to Success scholarship, which, which is available for all New Mexican residents and you can be eligible for the New Mexico lottery. We also have a My, CN, a My Scholarship CNM application. So if you fill out this one application on our CNM website, basically you can be considered for all other scholarships at CNM. And then of course we do have the federal financial aid, which is Pell Grants, student loans and work study available to you as well. Some other resources that we have at CNM, we have our tutoring services. We have the assessment center where you can take your AccuPlacer exam and get placed in um, according to your academic level. We have the contact center who can assist you with all of your questions. Our disability resource center is available to you. If you have a documented disability and you need accommodations in your class, they can assist you there. Our IT department, of course, can assist with all of your technical needs. Navigators and coaches, basically they can help as far as any questions you may have in helping you get towards registration. We have our security team. We have student activities and organizations as well as the Veterans Resource Center. Now steps to becoming a CNM student, of course you're going to apply and get a CNM student ID number. Our application is free guys, it's online. It should not take you more than about 30 minutes or so. 
Um, and then you'll get a CNM student ID number. Basically, you'll use this for everything at CNM. You'll set up a My CNM student account. This is where you'll have access to your email, courses, registration, resources. You'll apply for financial aid and scholarships. You'll complete a new student orientation online. And then you'll meet with an academic coach to figure out what courses you need to take in order to meet program requirements. You'll register for classes, pay your tuition, you'll get a CNM student ID card, and then normally you would locate your classes, but for our spring term, the majority of our classes right now will be online. Really, the only classes that we are holding in person is classes that require um, hands-on in-person interaction. Okay. So I did leave our contact information there. If you have any questions or you need help with the application, please give us a call. Um, I also encourage you to visit our website, cnm.edu slash thinking about CNM. We have our recruiters available to you Monday through Friday, eight to five. And basically if you have any questions or you need help with the application, please join us in that room. We can look at your screen. We can walk you through the application. And also please check out our booth after our presentation today. Thank you for your time. All right, thank you, Alexis. Uh, for those who joined uh, later, uh, we are going through our college presentations. Each institution will have six minutes and we'll open it up for questions and answers at the end. So our second institution to present today is New Mexico State University. Hi everyone, let me go ahead and share my screen and then I'll get started with our quick presentation. Awesome. All right, so yes, my name is Alexis and I am from New Mexico State University here down at Maine campus. Um, I'm also a graduate of New Mexico State University, so I'm really excited to share those opportunities with you here at NMSU. So I'll go ahead and get started. We do have academic programs here. We have over 100 undergraduate degree programs offered and they are housed in these different academic colleges. Uh, we have the Agriculture, Consumer and Environmental Sciences also known as ACES. We have our Arts and Sciences. Um, our fun fact out of the Arts and Sciences is that the current FBI Deputy Director is a graduate from our Criminal Justice Program here at NMSU in that college. Next, we also have College of Business offering those different programs underneath there. Um, the current CEO of Starbucks is a graduate from our business college, and he did speak at my commencement ceremony when I graduated, so he does have a connection back with our campus and those students. College of Education, we have our College of Engineering. Um, our fun odd fact is that the co-founder of Pixar is actually a graduate from the engineering program and got his electrical uh, engineering degree and then went on to make some of you know my favorite movies. Uh, College of Health and Social Services is next that we offer. We also do have an honors college. It is the first honors college in the state of New Mexico. Um, so great opportunities in, there to be academic leaders in your program. So next, what are our admission requirements for freshmen? These are for New Mexico um, freshman admissions. You just need to meet one of these lists here to be admitted. Um, so you'll take your cumulative GPA. Uh, we do take weighted as well. You will self-report that in your application. Or if you've taken a test, you'll send us those scores. Or if you're in the top 20% of your graduating class, you'll be admitted to be an NMSU Aggie. So again, you just need to meet one of those requirements to be admitted for our fall 2021 application. Now it is free to apply to NMSU until December 1st. So go on to the application, you'll click pay later and I'll go ahead and waive that application fee for you. So take advantage of that. With that, then you'll also know kind of when you report your GPA, what scholarships you have. So these next few slides will go over those scholarships. So if you have a 3.8 or higher, you could be eligible for these top scholar scholarship opportunities for you. I just need you again to be admitted by December 1st, take advantage of that free application and submit our scholar dollar application for scholarships, which I'll touch on in just a second. A great opportunities for our high GPA uh, top scholar students. Middle tier opportunities for scholarships. If you're in these GPA ranges, I just need you to be admitted by December 1st. Um, and you'll be eligible for these scholarships as well. Next, really, if you have a 3.0 or higher, you're eligible to get you know, scholarship in New Mexico State University to help fund that educational goal that you have. 
Now this doesn't have a deadline of December 1st, but might as well take advantage of that free application, uh, get that information in so you have that scholarship award in your back pocket for NMSU. Now, what is that scholar dollar application that I was talking about? So, you know, those past few slides is just off GPA. You're like, Alexis, where can you tell me, where can I tell you what my major is? You know, my interests, my leadership, my volunteer opportunities. This is where you get to do that. You can get some more NMSU institutional scholarships on top of those GPA ones there. So once you get admitted, you will go on and fill out this application. Real people read it. So make sure you answer those and really brag about yourself here. So again, we'll stack those scholar dollar scholarships on top of those institutional ones. If you have an external scholarship from maybe a company or a foundation, we'll stack that on top. As well as once you, you know, qualify for that lottery, the Mexico Lottery Scholarship, we stack that on top as well. So really great opportunities here to see how affordable it's going to be to come to MSU down at main campus for that bachelor's and that educational goal that you have. So I also want to present this checklist for you. Um, this is kind of those next steps to be an Aggie of what you need to look for. Uh, I really want to emphasize, you know, here at NMSU, if you have any questions, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help. We probably already have our hand out there to support you. Um, you're never alone at NMSU. Our different resources here are really going to help guide you, support you, push you in reaching your educational goals, goals and journey at NMSU, really creating a campus community, a city community, making sure you have, you know, that support support system around you. So if you have any questions about these next ones, please don't hesitate to contact me. Here's my contact card if you want to take a screenshot. Uh, you can also go to admissions.nmsu.edu and find your specific high school's admissions advisor um, there for you. Any questions? Again, get that guidance and that support for you in that educational journey that you have and that affordability and value you're going to get at NMSU to be bold and really then shape your future. Uh, so again, Alexis from Mexico State University main campus um, and go Aggies. All right, next up is New Mexico Highlands University. Thank you so much, Brandon. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen real quick. And let me know, can everybody hear me good? And can everybody see the presentation? All good? Yes, we can hear you. Awesome. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and start my timer and make sure that I'm going within my six minutes. So uh, my name is David Lucero. I'm an admissions counselor here at New Mexico Highlands University. A short summary of who I am. I came to school here in 2014, graduated in 2018, participated in different clubs, different organizations, and even ran cross. So that's a little fun fact. Um, this kind of just talks about the location. We are located in Las Vegas, New Mexico. We're a little under 6,500 feet of elevation, get all four seasons here. Fun fact is a lot of movies and series have been filmed here in the city. So like series like Longmire, No Country for Old Men, the movie Paul, and even the, the series Roswell. And this is just brief history. Uh, we started off in 1893 as a normal school. We are a Hispanic serving institution moving towards and striding towards becoming a non-tribal Native American serving institution. We have a variety of different degrees. We have these four different schools that we have and everything from STEM based to business, so, uh, sociology, anthropology, even education, social work and business. So this is kind of like where we talk about the fun stuff that happens outside of campus. So we do actually, in normal times, we would be taking students skiing and snowboarding. We, this is all covered by the Campus Life Initiative fee. Some concerts that we have had on campus are people like Chevelle Shepard, um, Ice Cube, Josh Turner, Cheech and Chong, and even Gabriel Iglesias have all come down to perform for us. And all these things here that you see is covered by the $75 Campus Life Initiative fee, which is already included in your tuition. And this is just a little bit about the clubs, the organizations, um, and of course, Division II Athletics. And this is just a little bit about the town itself. And I want to skip more towards the uh, meat and potatoes of the presentation. So 
in comparison to what other institutions charge, this is what we look like in terms of tuition. Uh, this is what our tuition would be for, you know, per semester. And then in terms of scholarships, give me a second, there we go. So right here, we do our absolute best to offer some kind of scholarships to students. Um, I know myself, I'm a student that uh, wasn't really focused in college. Uh, well, not in college, but like in high school. So when I came to college, I wanted to buckle down and, and I actually did better in college than what I did in high school, which is something I'm, I'm very proud of and very happy to say. I'm a first generation student and whatnot. So um, I understand students may have may uh, have struggled in high school to you know get into college and whatnot. So we have scholarships ranging from a 2.0 all the way to a 3.75. The uh, so even if you wanted to you know you didn't have the best GPA out there, we are doing our absolute best to give some kind of scholarship for you. And this is all not including financial aid or any foundation scholarships that we have to offer. It's a really great opportunity for students. The other thing I wanted to mention is our application is free. And it is free, it's free to apply. We do not have a set deadline. We have a March 1st priority deadline, but that doesn't mean necessarily that you won't uh, be considered for scholarships. It just means that the, those that apply before March 1st will be considered prior to anyone else. The other thing I wanted to say is we are waiving the application fee to be accepted here at New Mexico Engine University. All you need is a 2.0 GPA. We do not require the SAT, ACT or SAT scores to be accepted here at New Mexico Engine University. The one thing I do wanna say is for those presidential silver and the presidential gold scholarships, they are still requiring those ACT scores. But other than that, we are good to go with everything else. So if you guys have any questions, um, please let me know. My contact information is towards the back right here. And some of my colleagues, we actually got to update this slide because we've had some people transition. But um, nevertheless, this is my contact information. Please do not hesitate to ask any questions at all. I would love to connect with you guys and show you the the road to success here at New Mexico Engine University. Thank you so much, David. Up next, we have Eric with New Mexico Junior College. All right, thanks, Brandon. Hey guys, how's everybody doing out there? I know it's a very strange time doing this through Zoom. It's not your typical college fair, but we're just glad to be able to share some of our information with you guys. Um, so I'm here to talk to you about New Mexico Junior College. Um, we are located in Hobbs, New Mexico and student success through learning. That is what we're all about. So we want to see you succeed, whether it's in life, whether it's going to college, uh, a four year school, whether it's going directly into the workforce. Mm -hmm. Um, we want to make sure that you have the opportunity to do so. Um, so with that, we have different degree options for you guys. Um, we do offer transfer options, which are built out to help you transfer to four-year schools. Um, we are not a branch campus of any four-year school. So because of that, we can offer you a transfer opportunity to really any college that you want to go to. If you're looking for something more specific, we do have Associate of Applied Science programs. Um, these are more geared towards the workplace. And then we also offer some certificate programs as well, um, which are very specific, uh, quick one-year programs um, that really just propel you into the workforce and um, help you get the job that you want. We also offer uh, on job training through our training and outreach department as well in, in areas such as lease pumper training, oil and gas, um, medical services, and all kinds of different industries. So why NMJC? Um, we offer fla flexible class sizes for your busy schedule. Um, you know, we go beyond with our transfer programs. Um, and we are one of the only schools in the state right now to be offering in-person classes. Um, so we, we do not want you to miss out on an in-person class. So we are offering in-person classes at smaller sizes. 
um, with social distancing practices put into place. Um, and so that's kind of one thing that sets us apart from everybody else during this pandemic. Um, we do offer on-campus housing. Um, we have traditional residence halls and student apartments. Um, so you're not missing out on your college experience by coming to a junior college, like a lot of people may think happens if you go to a junior college. Um, and then we also have, um, oh, I'm not switching slides anymore. We also have uh, student organizations, intramurals. Um, we have a game room, all kinds of different things on our campus, um, just as if you were at a four-year school. Um, so there's definitely not a missed opportunity here. Um, we do have sports. Um, we are a part of the NJCAA. Um, we have all the sports listed on there. Um, and many of our sports teams are national champions, if not national runners up. Um, we have a lot of, uh, you know, cred in the athletics industry. Um, so there's a lot of good opportunity there if you're an athlete. Um, all of our athletics is done by recruiting. So if this falls under you, it's best to contact the, um, the coach to see, you know, what your opportunity is there. So let's talk about cost a little bit. Um, so we offer really pretty low tuition. Um, our in-district residents, which are residents in Lee County, um, we offer you the lowest tuition, which is $56. That includes uh, fees as well. Um, out of district residents, so New Mexico residents that are outside of Lee County, we offer $75. And then out of state, we offer $87. Um, we just opened up the opportunity for our West Texas students to qualify for in-state tuition um, within a 135 mile radius. So if you're within West Texas, there's a very large opportunity for you to come to us and get your schooling for the cost of a New Mexico resident. So Seminole, Denver City, you know, places that are within a good commute, you definitely come here and get your, uh, you know, your, your education from us at a more affordable price. Um, so how do we pay for college at NMJC? Well, we have financial aid, much like the other colleges mentioned. Um, we have foundation scholarships as well. It's that one application fits all, and that number is wrong. There's actually over 200 scholarships. I don't know where 70 came from. Um, and then we have payment plans. So if you don't fall into any of these categories, we do offer uh, flexible payment plans um, ranging from four to five payments per semester. We want you to visit our campus. Yes, we're still doing campus tours as well um, in small groups. So we wanna see maybe one to three, three people at a time, um, but there is still opportunity to visit us and to meet us in person um, and that one-on-one -on -one experience with us. We do also offer Thunderbird Discover Day. We'll be offering that in the spring virtually and then our new student orientation every fall. So here's our fun little checklist. I know everybody's got their own little checklist at the end of their presentation. Um, this one's ours, apply for admission. Application is always free and we accept everyone regardless of ACT, SAT or high school GPA. Um, you do not need to take a course placement test if you have a high high school GPA. That's something that we can determine once you apply for admission. And then you'll want to apply for scholarships, visit with an advisor, and your last step is to register for classes in your Thunderbird. Mm -hmm. um, so that is pretty much all I have for you guys. Um, we're happy to answer any of the questions that you have for us. Feel free to call or text that phone number on there or send us an email and um, reach out to us and, and we can answer any question you have. And that's pretty much all I have. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you so much. All right, our next presenter is Dona Ana Community College. Hi, my name is uh, Kenna Carrier and thank you, Brandon, for uh, setting this up for us. I'm gonna share my screen here. I hope everybody can see this, give me just a sec. Okay, so um, DACC is a phenomenal college and I'm not just saying that because I work here, but we have such a great community um, being in Southern New Mexico. And we actually have a really wonderful relationship with NMSU being that we're part of the same system. 
Uh, GSEC has quite a few campuses located in Southern Doniana County. So we have two big campuses located in Las Cruces. We have one in Anthony and we have another one in Sunland Park, um, in the Sunland Park area. We offer open enrollment. So there's no specific criteria that you have to satisfy to be admitted. The only criteria is that you be a high school graduate or have a GED. And we also have affordable tuition rates. I know a lot of the, that's one of the awesome things about New Mexico to any college or university you attend. We really pride ourselves in trying to be affordable um, and really be a gateway for students to pursue their passion and pursue their education. So we have three different rates for students who are considered Doniana residents. We offer a tuition rate of $74 per credit. For students who live in the state of New Mexico but are out of Doniana County, it's $90 per credit. And for our out-of-state students, it's $236 per credit. We have um, five major divisions. And one of the, the divisions that's the most popular is probably our health sciences. And within our health sciences program, we offer um, different programs of study, such as dental assisting, dental hygiene, radiology, nursing assistant, sonography, and some of those programs are unique to us. Um, so that's a really great opportunity. And I, I find that there's not very many schools that offer those programs here in New Mexico. The other division that I like to point out is our business and public services division. And some of the programs that are unique um, in this area is our culinary arts program, which is really phenomenal. Uh, there are so many different areas of study. So we have everything from CJ to fire science within this program as well and business management. Um, there's just a lot going on. And I don't have a lot of time to go into these programs at great length. Then in our arts and humanities, um, there's diff the different programs of study that we have here is like your early childhood education, education, public health, your associates of arts, your creative media technologies, and your digital media technologies. We have a science and engineering and mathematics division that focuses on programs such as aerospace technology, electronics technology. Uh, we have a pre-engineering program and associates of science and automation and manufacturing technology. And then in our advanced technologies division, we have um, we have building and construction, welding, water technologies, HVAC. I mean, the, it is a long list of what you could potentially do. And this is really where we focus more on our technical programs. So to apply for admissions is very, very easy. Um, like many other colleges, we are also waiving that $20 application fee. So please disregard that for right now. Uh, we only ask that you go online to do the admissions application. You can find the uh, application link here on the screen. So if you wanna take a screenshot of that, that would be great. Um, and we share the same admissions application system as NMSU. So if you plan on coming to DACC, be sure that you indicate that the campus you plan on attending is Jonia Ana, so we can receive that application. And just like all the other colleges and universities have mentioned, we also have financial aid available. Um, one of my recommendations at this point is there are, the FAFSA application is available now and it has been. So I recommend don't delay because there are several different types of financial aid you could qualify for um, based on completing your FAFSA, including certain scholarships. And so the sooner you get this done, the more, the, the quicker you'll know what you're able to receive. Um, and then also there's work study funds are very limited per institution. So you want to get this done if, if you're interested in getting um, work study as well. One of the, the awesome, unique programs that we also have here is the Aggie Pathway Program, and that's thanks to our relationship with NMSU. Um, for those students who want to go to NMSU, but they don't quite meet that cr criteria to get in, this is a very great option. So you can start with DACC and then transfer to NMSU once you've satisfied at least 24 college credits and have a minimum of 2.5. GPA, and then you can go on and transfer. A lot of our students um, decide that they wanna stay a little bit longer than the 24 and that's okay. We just encourage you to, to take advantage of this program because NMSU offers additional peer mentors and guidance and advising that is significant in your ability to succeed in the program you wanna pursue. Because we are part of the NMSU system, many of our students can also live on NMSU campus housing. So I just wanted to point that out. If you're thinking about um, coming here from, you know, a little bit further north and you're coming down, so you can take advantage of living on campus housing as well. 
we offer a lot of different student services that are geared towards helping our students succeed. And there's different clubs and academic resources. And the, the thing I'd like to point out here is that we have a free tool for those students who have no idea what it is they want to study and they're, 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 they want to do like maybe an interest inventory to figure it out. Um, we have the career coach that is located on our homepage on our dacc.nmsu.edu homepage. And there, if you do that career coach, it's really interesting. It's an interest inventory that you can take that'll help guide you depending on how you answer those questions. And so you really want to be sincere and honest. It tells you like, okay, well, based on how you answer these questions, these are the different types of careers you may potentially go into, and this is your earning potential. And so after you have that information, you're armed with, uh, with a better idea of what you can study or what you would like to potentially study. Um, Brandon, thank you so much. And I, that concludes my presentation and I'll hand it back over to you. All right, thank you so much. And then our last presenter for this session uh, is Shelby with Eastern New Mexico University. All righty, hi guys. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen like those before me. I think, hold on, it's not, one second. Um, share, there we go. Alrighty. So like I said, my name is Shelby. I'm from Eastern New Mexico University. We're located in Portales, New Mexico. A little bit about the town. We have about 17,000 people in the town of Portales. So it's small town, hometown feel. Uh, what's nice about us, we have around 4,500 students in undergrad. They are uh, in mix from online or in-person students. So our campus is pretty small, actually. We have a 17 to one student to faculty ratio, which means for every 17 students, we have one person on campus that's able to help you, whether it is a teacher, a TA, an advisor, anything like that. Uh, we have a 97% student, student satisfaction rate. It is one of the highest in New Mexico, and we've held that since 1999. Our average classroom size is around 25 25 students, and we have a very student-focused faculty and staff. We want to see you graduate. We want to see you do well and succeed. Um, so we have that satisfaction rate. We have over 90 different program options and about 1,200 courses and 20 different online programs to choose from. We have different colleges. You can um, four different colleges. I'll go into those in just a second. And then we are one of the we are the safest college in New Mexico in 2020. We are also one of the um, top 25% of colleges with the best professors in America. We're also one of the best online colleges in New Mexico as well. So to be an ENU Greyhound, you have to have a GPA of a 2.5 or higher. Uh, submit your free application and scholarship application. Only takes a couple of minutes to do that. Submit your ACT or SAT scores if you have them. And then follow your FAFSA. That opened up August or October 1st. So try to get that done as soon as you can. For our colleges, we have four different ones. We have business, education, technology, fine arts, and liberal arts and sciences. Uh, the ones that make us stand out would be our forensic science program in anthropology, biology, chemistry, or general forensic science. We're also one of the only schools in New Mexico that has a four-year culinary arts degree. Uh, we have a communications department. They actually get to, uh, your broadcast communications get to work with our KEW broadcast center. We're a very big education college. We also have communicative disorders as a major here. And we also have a grad program for that as well that is nationally ranked. Um, education and then our pre-health professions, pre-dentistry, medicine, physical therapy, physician's assistant, pre-pharmacy, nursing, if you already have your, your RN degree. Uh, for our pre-health professions, we also have cadavers on campus, which is really cool to have that access. Um, that hands-on education right there. Um, we are in the top 10%, most affordable schools in the Southwest for a four-year university. Tuition, fees, room, board, everything like that's gonna be a little under 8,000, or a little over $8,000 a semester. That's not including any of the scholarships that we have. Um, we have the lottery, the foundation starter scholarship, uh, the green and silver presidential scholarship, and also the freshman academic scholarship. Um, since we are low on time, I'm going to just, if you want any more information, feel free to come to us through the presentation. We're gonna be on our virtual booth a little bit later. We have athletics. We are in the um, NCAA 
Division II in the Lone Star Conference. It is the largest conference in Division II, and we have a nationally ranked rodeo program as well. Here's our social media. We are on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And then our contact information for me, um, shelby.estria at enmu.edu, and there's my number there. Um, I wasn't timing myself, but I hope I covered everything, and I hope I stayed within your time limit. So yes, thank you. have two minutes if you'd like to talk any more. Yeah. I can, I can totally talk for two more minutes. Okay. <laughs> so for student services, we have the tutoring network, we have confidential counseling and career services. So if you find that you don't know what you want to do with your life and you're like a sophomore in college, you can come to, to them and they'll be happy to help you. If you're having that tough transition between high school to college, they can help you from there as well. The tutoring network has pretty much every major um, able to help you. We also have a math lab and a writing center available that's online or in person. Health services, self-explanatory. If you're feeling under the weather, if you have the flu, you need anything checked out, you can go down to health services for that. Uh, we try to, um, like I said, we are one of the safest schools, the safest school in New Mexico. So with that, we have a 24 seven full service police department as well. And Safe Ride is a service that takes students to and from, uh, if they're unable to get back to their dorm for whatever reason on the weekends, they're able to have that. Uh, we also have some fun stuff to do on campus. We're not always studying. We have ASAB, which is a, a organization that brings comedians, mud volleyball, movie nights, fun stuff like that. Um, right here's the guy from Mean Girls. I cannot remember his name, but Daniel, I think. But anyways, he's like the guy that said he, she doesn't even go here. He performed at our school a couple years ago. He was awesome. We also have different organizations you can be a part of, whether it is for fun, whether it is for um, like a you, one of your majors or your department staff, you're able to participate in those as well. Um, also religious organizations, um, multicultural affairs in Hispanic affairs, multicultural um, African-American and Native American affairs as well. We also have intramural sports. If you cannot play at the collegiate level, but still wanna have fun, you're welcome to do that as well. And you can also create your own organization if one that we do have you don't, doesn't really fit in your area. So I think that was two minutes. Cool. Thank you so much. All right. Well, I want to thank all of our presenters uh, for talking about what their institution uh, has to offer. At this point, we will open it up for Q&A. Uh, you can either, you, you know, comment in the chat your question, or if you feel comfortable, you're more than welcome to unmute yourself and ask a question to the group or to an individual institution. I know. Hi, good afternoon. Um, I'm Suhe Garcia and my son is either debating whether to go to um, New Mexico State or Eastern New Mexico. And he um, he's currently, well, he was in band um, this year, of course, because of COVID, he's not um, as involved. Um, but what do you guys have to offer if he decides to major uh, major in in music in either of those universities? I'll be the moderator, so I will let uh, NMSU go first and then Eastern. Yeah, great question. So at New Mexico State University, there are a lot of different ways. So we have a music degree students could get that in, um, whether that's in even like their specific instrument. So there is opportunities for that. It's gonna be under the College of Arts and Sciences of where you would find that music degree. Um, in there as well, even within the College of Education, if um, like teaching music is an interest, they do offer that within College of Education. Um, pairing that up in a way is a great opportunity there. It's definitely room to double major. Uh, if teaching is an um, interest, doing lessons even in a sense, or getting more specific in the actual instrument or type of genre of music as well. So there is those opportunities in terms of academics. Um, there are also other clubs, like I know there's some band clubs other than our um, pride band, our Aggie, the, um, the forgetting, like the voice of the Aggies, the pride band. So there are other ways even in an organizational setting to be involved still musically um, going forward with that. 
Um, but yeah, great opportunities there. Um, I will try, I can link um, the contact information for our pride band. Um, so if you want to contact in terms of, you know, playing at that collegiate level, I can definitely connect that on there, but plenty of opportunities in different colleges still to advance, um, you know, academically at the collegiate level for either side with that music. Oh, but I'll look exactly. at that link for you. Thank you, Alexis. All right, Shelby. We also have a music department as well. Um, we have your music performance, music and music education as for choral and instrumental. Um, so we also have the marching band. You're able to participate in the regular sitting down band as well. Um, those are really cool to participate in and also just watch in general. Dr. Polk is gonna be your contact for, um, if for the music department specifically. And I'm gonna link that in the, in the messages below as well. Um, but everything, like I said, is very hands-on. We have a um, music, um, in our music department, we have different places you can practice. We have a Grammy-nominated professor who is able to help you as well. He played saxophone. Um, so yeah, uh, they also participate in the um, St. Patrick's Day Parade every two years. They go up to Ireland to participate in that. Um, our choir has gone abroad every two years as well. They were supposed to go to Spain this year. Um, but it's very, it's really, it's a really cool program to visit as well. Awesome, thank you for that question. We did have somebody who uh, typed a question in, so we'll get to that uh, real quick and then open it up to others. Uh, ENMU used to have an education scholarship. I believe it was called the Education Promise Scholarship. Is that still in place and do any other institutions offer that? So Shelby, I'll let you answer that first. We do, let me pull that up again. Um, for my PowerPoint, because that was one of those that I glanced over. Um, it is called the Greyhound Promise. So what that is, is it pays for your tuition and mandatory fees each semester. Um, in lieu of the lottery of the foundation starter scholarship, you just have to have a 2.5 or higher in order to get it. What that is, is you, we pay for your tuition and fees for four years. In return, you teach at a New, Mex at a New Mexico uh, public education school for four years. So we pay for, you give us four. Um, you just have to complete that teacher education program, become licensed and have a job right after you graduate, which is very, um, we have a lot of students who just graduate and go into the teaching field right off the bat. So that is available. Uh, it's at enmu.edu slash Greyhound Promise. That's another one I will link in the, uh, in the chat as well. And then part of her question was, do any institutions offer anything similar? Uh, would any other institution like to Chime in. All right, we will open it up. Uh, don't have any more questions in the chat. Uh, does anybody else would like to ask a question? Uh, you can unmute your mic. I have a question. Yes. Oh, oh sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm Miss Miller, I'm Thea Miller's mother. <laughs> so Besides the New Mexico Junior College, do any of the other universities offer animal science? Because she is interested in becoming a veterinarian, and I understand that New Mexico doesn't have a vet school, but I need to know which colleges offer undergrad degrees or any type of classes that will help her get there. Perfect. Anybody? Um, I could answer that a little bit. Um, in our so we don't have like animal science per se, but we do have a biology program. And in our biology program, students have been very fortunate to, of course, in normal times, go down to South America, go do research on atacondas and like just different kind of like animals. Even we're really close to the, the Rio Mora, which is like a refuge. And then there's also the wildlife refuge that is really close by. So students get to interact with the outdoors as well as be doing start doing research as early as a freshman to in our uh, labs and whatnot so that's just some of the aspects that we have to offer in our biology program um, a little side note as well in that biology program we have actually had a lot of students go to medical school as well so you kind of get the best of both worlds in a sense with our biology program um, so uh, that's a little bit of a the what we have to offer at Highlands it, that could potentially be a good option for you. Thank you, David. 
Anybody else? Yeah, I'll go ahead and go. Um, I don't remember your name, but I see your name on the screen is Kat. Um, Kat, I'm Alexis from CNN. Um, I pulled up my programs here on my end. I am seeing a veterinary sciences, an associate of applied science, if that interests you. We also have a veterinary receptionist certificate of achievement. And so if you go on our website, cnm.edu, our veterinary sciences program is going to be under our School of Health, Wellness, and Public Safety. Thank you, Alexis. Okay. I think Alexis, you raised your mm hand -hmm. from NMSU. Yeah, at New Mexico State University under the College of Agriculture, Consumer and Environmental Sciences, ACES for short, we have an animal science degree as a bachelor's degree. Um, and so we actually do have livestock on campus still. So right out of the classroom, uh, students are able to go work with like goats, sheep, um, we have cows with like holes in their stomach that students are able to learn like how their digestive tract is with those. So NMSU does have those animals right on campus that students can learn from with animal science is sort of like a pre-vet uh, track with that livestock on campus. So College of ACES, that Agriculture, Consumer, Environmental Sciences is where that program is housed um, to look for more info. Okay, thank you. Um, ENMU also has your um, animal and dairy science as well. It's going to be located in our Education and Technology College. Uh, we have your ag agriculture, ag education, your animal science, also your animal and dairy science, which has production and management and your pre-veterinary uh, courses as well. Um, we do have a research lab available on campus that only the animal, the animal and dairy science um, students are able to go into which is really cool in there. So we do have that available as well. Um, again, with our most affordable school in, or um, in the top 10% most affordable schools in the Southwest, you don't have to go into debt for your undergrad. You can save that for your master's programs. All right, we do have to come to a conclusion pretty soon, but NMJC, did you raise your hand? I'll give you. Yes, yeah, I did. I know you had mentioned NMJC, but I wanted to go a little bit more in depth on our program if you haven't heard yet. Um, we are the only school in New Mexico that has a partnership with Texas Tech for their animal science program. So you complete two years with us, you transfer to Texas Tech for two years, and then you are, um, if you meet the qualifications, admitted into Texas Tech Veterinary School in Amarillo, Texas. Um, so we have a direct pathway from us all the way to veterinary school. Um, we also have that same partnership with West Texas A&M. Um, and then we also do a little bit with, I'm pointing this way because she's right here with NMSU. Um, so we do offer those transfer pathways to multiple different schools with different options. Um, the biggest one being Texas Tech. And of course, our students are offered um, very specific transfer scholarships to Texas Tech as well because of our individualized partnership with them. Um, so there's a lot of really, really good opportunity for veterinary majors at NMJC. All right, so this is gonna be the last question and then I'll do some conclusions as we get ready for our two o'clock session. Um, the question is, I am a senior at West Las Vegas. I am looking for a college that involves a great medical field. I'm taking some prereqs here at Luna to become an RN or travel RN, but want to get into a college that will be good after I graduate uh, and now for fall 2020 undergraduate. Uh, so maybe this is just a question for, you can raise your hand and say you do offer uh, things beyond the RN program if you'd like to. David. So for our nursing program, um, as long as you have your RN complete, you can get started with our program once you can, and being that it's in Luna and it's really close, it's definitely a really good and feasible option for um, the students. Um, Thank you. Dave. That's all I wanted to mention real quick because I want to give everyone else enough time. Anybody else? So uh, Doniana Community College offers a nursing program that offers both the LPN and then they have an extension, a few extension courses, that's the LPN to RN. Um, so that's something that's 
that you might want to go check out. So if you go to dacc.nmsu.edu and then you click on future students, there's a list of all our programs in alphabetical order. So you can click on our nursing program and it's going to give you all the detail on the LPN. And it's also going to give you additional detail as how you move from your LPN to getting your RN. Anybody else? Well, I have another minute. All right, Shelby. Um, Eastern also has a uh, BSN completion program. So when you get your RN, you can come to Eastern with your BSN. It is a completely online program. So you, you can stay where you're at. And then that'll just help you with, with everything for there. So. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for your participation. Just some, just some cleanup stuff. Definitely make sure to explore the college boots throughout today and you know the rest of November and part of December. You'll have access to those college boots where they have amazing resources such as virtual view books and videos and so forth. So definitely make sure you're exploring those. Uh, also make sure to visit our website, nmcac.org, uh, where you can find uh, informational videos where this video will eventually be posted on our YouTube, as well as our college book. This college guidebook uh, lists all the institutions uh, in New Mexico and gives an overview of each. So definitely make sure uh, that you know that that's a resource available to you as well. And then finally, uh, this is the same Zoom room uh, that the next session will be in. So feel free to stay on the line uh, and we will get started with the next session at two o'clock. Um, so thank you so much again, guys, uh, and have a great day.